Hi folks, this is Annie cooking in the trailer park. It is a rainy day in the desert today. I'm coming in and we're going to be cooking in the trailer. Follow me while I walk over to my wonderful tiny kitchen, put on my apron, and let's get cooking. Today I thought I'd show you how I do my tuna melts. Very simple, very easy, and it's, um, it's something that we feel like we want to eat today. Alright, I'm going to start out showing you how I get kind of organized, which that's kind of, uh, my organization is whatever. Anyway, um, I'm using tuna. Now I'm going to open that up. I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to show you how I mix it. So what are the details on the tuna that you buy, any? Well, it is, uh, it's safe catch ahi. I'm doing wild yellowfin tuna. Okay. And I think this is, uh, I don't know what the sodium well, is. Well, is it packed in oil or packed in water? Packed in water. Okay. And then this albacore tuna with low sodium. And why do you pack, why do you buy it, like, why, do, why don't you buy it, why do you buy it packed in water instead of oil? Uh, I think that's just because I've been used to in water. I think oil's a little greasy. Okay. But anyway, so I want to open it up. Oops, sorry, wrong, uh, wrong drawer for fork. You think I'd know where my forks are, right? Okay, so anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'll show you, I'll open up a tuna, but I'm going to drain this because I don't want to use all the water. So if you come over here, I'm draining the, the water. And getting all that extra water out because I don't want a lot of the uh, tuna water in my tuna fish. Uh, I'm in my tuna... What do I make? Melts. Okay, so here I am, and what I'll do is I'll get the rest of these cans. Now I'm using three cans because we're making tuna melts, and it, you need a little more tuna fish in there. So we're going to break right now, and I'll mix all this up, and then I'll add my ingredients and show you over on the stove how I make this. All right, we're back. Here's my uh, three cans of tuna, and I it's it's. Uh, I drain the water and now I'm going to add my ingredients. Now a lot of you I know are uh, either vegetarian or vegan and there is a veginase that's soy free, dairy free, but I couldn't find it in the desert. I had to buy a big jar and I just can't have a big jar in here. So I'm going to use my old fashioned Miracle Whip and I'm just going to squirt at least one teaspoon a little bit of real mayonnaise, and I'm going to mix this up and just see where we're at. And well, it's still not creamy enough as you can see, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, that's about uh, another tablespoon or more. Okay, another tablespoon or teaspoon. Because I don't like my tuna real mayonnaise-y. I like to be able to uh, taste the tuna. So I don't like to over uh, mix it with um, the creamy everything. So it's still a little bit dry. And so now I'm going to add a little secret ingredient. Oh, there's another secret ingredient too. Sorry. Oh boy. Forgot all about that. My mom used to do this. Put a little cream cheese in. I forgot all about that. So I'm going to add a little horseradish just to give it a little bite. Not a lot. Not a lot. That's another squirt. Just a squirt. That's all you need. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. I think I'm probably going to do like two to three. I don't put lemon. You're holding up a lemon, Kenny? I do not put lemon in. I thought maybe you would put a no, lemon. No, 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 no lemon in your tuna. Okay, that's okay. For me, it makes the tuna sour. Really? Tastes sour. Yes. Okay. And my mom told me, do not put lemon juice. Now, if you're doing tuna steaks on the grill, eh, put a lemon in it. But she did not really like the fact 
that you would put a lemon in tuna fish. Okay, well, I stand corrected. So, um, sorry, I keep, but anyway, I'm taking a teaspoon and I'm just going to put that in and I'm going to kind of work that in and now it's really looking a little creamy. I'm also going to add in, um, I know a lot of people here with their tunas, I am going to add a little bit of um, uh, capers and that's just for the little salty part of the, um, instead of using a lot of salt in here, because there is sodium. So I, I just added a little bit of caper. Okay, and then I'll come back and um, we'll see how uh, you're going to watch me put it on the stove. We're going to take a break and I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so we're back for like the third time now and I'm finished with my tuna and you can see it's, it's creamy but not overly creamy and I'm going to have our official taste tester uh, Kenny, my husband, and uh, I'm going to walk over here and see if you could take a taste. If you don't like it, don't tell me. Wow. Okay. That's really good. So, I am it's, ready it's now. It's really good and I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay. I might just uh, put a little bit of pepper just because it is a little bit on the salty side because of the tuna anyway. Oh, I liked it. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I just added a little bit okay. of pepper. So okay, now what? I'm coming over here. And as you can see, I've got my pan heating up. Uh, and I'm going to put the sandwiches together. Now, oh, over here. Um, I use sourdough bread because... Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I use sourdough bread because for me, uh, I can digest it better. But you can do it on lettuce, on uh, gluten-free bread. You don't even have to use bread, you can just do it with chips, or whatever you prefer. Okay, so, oh, okay, I'll just put the bread here. Alright, so, now I'm going to get started putting my sandwich together. And what did you use, Annie, to put in the pan? Are you using butter? No, I like avocado oil. Wow, how come? Well, it just, it, it tastes better to me. Okay. Uh, then uh, heating olive oil up because olive oil gets a weird taste for me okay. personally. Okay. So I I like avocado oil okay. because it can burn at a higher uh, level. Okay. You know, and it doesn't leave a taste for me. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mix in the pepper a little bit. Okay, whatever. And then I'm going to scoop this on my bread. Scoop, scoop. This is going to be your sandwich, Kenny. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so here is... Annie takes good care of me. Thank you, Annie. Uh -huh. Well, we take care of each other, all right? Okay, so then I've got that on the bread, and now I'm going to put a one and a half slice of cheddar cheese. Sharp oh. cheddar cheese. Yeah. It's yep. really oh, good. No, actually, this is savory. It's really good. Yeah, and, and it's, it's pre-sliced. It's, it's already pre-sliced, right? Yep. yep. By Kerry Gold, it's a really good cheese. Okay. It's got a little bit of a bite to it, but I like it, okay. you know, whatever. Okay, then I've got this, and now I am going to take a little bit of real butter, and I'm going to smear, smear, whatever you want to call it, just a little bit lightly on top of one slice of the bread, and then I'm going to put this on the grill, I mean uh, the pan. Okay, now you can hear the sizzling on that, right? Right. Okay, so because I do not have a flat, like, I don't have a flat special tool because we're in a small trailer, I'm using ah, a pot. That's, that's pretty clever. <laughs> I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> Okay, so I'm turning down the heat just a little bit, and then what I'll do is when I when this gets a little bit done and a little melted, I'll I'll uh, flip the sandwich, and I'll put a little bit of butter on that, and then you will have a sandwich. 
Okay, great. So is our, are we going to take a break? Yeah. Okay, great. So the next step is we're going to eat, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Annie. Hi, we're back. Okay, so now I'm holding this pot uh, to, you know, kind of press down on my sandwich so that it's going to be nice and crispy and done inside. But I'm ready now to put a little more butter on this side, the other side, and, um, and then I'm just going to smear that on there. And um, then I'm going to show you how I flip it. Okay. And I did add a little more avocado oil to my pan and turned it um, on it, you know, because I had to turn it off because we're on propane. Okay, here it goes. I'm flipping. Okay, we flipped. Okay, so now I'm also going to put that on there so the other side will brown. Just to show you our end result, come over here, and this is our sandwich. And it's browned on both sides. And we're going to eat chips with it instead of a salad because we want junk food today. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me with Cooking with Annie in the Trailer Park. Bye, see you soon.